Perfect. I'm Chloe from Britain Co. And first off, congrats on this show. I'm so excited for people to see it. And to start off, I know that all of you were familiar with the story before getting cast. I'd love to hear kind of how you got to know your character better throughout this more kind of internal perspective. And if anything surprised you about them through the process. Um, it's a very good yeah. question. Go ahead. Yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> sorry about that. Um, so I feel like for me personally, um, I didn't know about the books before, but I feel like definitely being able to play the part helps you understand them way better, mm -hmm. you know, because like yeah. you have to be them. So you have to know everything about them. And it's just like it's a different perspective. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like how people say, like, step into somebody's shoes you know what i mean like like you you're looking at someone you're like wow that's what they went through but then also when you have to step into it and be that person it's even more different you know so i feel like um there's a big difference between reading it and knowing about it than than being um than being them and you know like um knowing about them you know like uh it's a lot more different and I feel like it was actually like, it was a good experience about um, feeling how she is because end of us great. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. Um, well, for me, it's, uh, it's, it's kind of like a whole new um, way of seeing the character for us getting to play them. Cause it's like, you're putting them into your body. You know what I mean? Yeah. You're, you're kind of filtering them through your own emotions and, um, that kind of changes how you see them, you know? And mm. I think that's been really good for making our own versions of those characters. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I mean, like Walker and Leah said, you know, one of the first things that Rick said to us was like, be yourselves. Don't, don't have any like expectations on how to play these characters and getting to step into their shoes. And again, like Walker perfectly said, filter them through your own emotions. That definitely helped a lot. And, is something I realized about Grover is that he's, um, you know, he kind of bears the, he shares, he's very empathetic uh, being a satyr and he kind of shares the burden of others like feelings or struggles or hardships. Mm -hmm. And, you know, he, he doesn't make it about himself, which is something that I really like. Um, he just kind of helps them process it by going through it himself. Yeah. And y'all are surrounded by so many cool people in the show from Rick to people like Lin-Manuel Miranda. Do you have yeah. any moments in between takes or days on set that you remember really fondly? <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, go for it. Oh, uh, you, you said with just Mr. Lin or with every all like the or just anything in particular, oh. if you remember anyone oh. more than the other? I do, um, like Mr. Adam, for example, um, Walker and Aryan were so excited, like me too, like they were, they were like diehard excited for Mr. Adam, and it was actually really hilarious, like when he first came in, like them just laughing at like, they were just playing around and stuff, and when he came in, like he's really tall, <laughs> taller than all of us, you know, Almost so. Almost as tall as I am. Yeah, he's no, for real. Aryan, he's, yeah. he's a little bit taller than me, actually, not that bad. Just a bit. But <laughs> and it's funny because he's super tall. So when he walked in and we were actually in the tent and the tent is not that tall. So like, I mean, it is, but like, you know what I mean? But like, so he had to like bend his head down and then come up and Ariana Walker just turn around with their faces like, oh, your edge is edge go. But I'm like, I'm like, Hi, Mr. Adam. He's like, hi, nice to meet you. And then he goes to the boys and starts like giving them that same energy, like, yo, what's going <laughs> on, guys? And I'm just sitting there, like, just like, wow, this is this is amazing. Like, you know, and stuff. But it's just funny because like that was a funny part right there because like I don't know how to explain it, but like if you were there, you would understand like how I was just sitting there like laughing at them like go crazy and stuff and it was almost like how they said with mr rick they were asking him so many questions about the wwe stuff and yeah. all that and he was just showing videos and things and he was a really great person also and i you know for you it was mm -hmm. really great to work with him yeah 
Awesome. And last question. I know that Percy loves blue candy, all kinds of blue foods. Did you guys have any particular snacks that were your favorite to have on set? Oh, I miss mm. Crafty. I do too. Mm. I think y'all do. <laughs> there was this, actually like this one gummy piece of candy. It like, they actually got it in Seattle. So like they had to go like in, out of Canada, back into America actually to go get it. Oh. It was like this little gummy piece of candy and it had like sugar, like, like in it. <laughs> And like, uh, like not just like, like not like it was sugary, but like the, it was actual sugar like on it. It was sugar coated mm-hmm. and it was gummy. And when you eat into it, it was so, so, so oh, good. Like those little peach rings? No, it was like, it, it, it was like the, uh, it was like fruit uh, flavors. Oh, like the, I, yeah. Not, oh, like yeah. Those little cups. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I remember. It, it was that. like, it was like strawberry and the, it was in a little wrapper. Remember that little clear wrapper and stuff? It'd be like the, the candy. Yeah, I, I think I remember. What yeah, I was it was about. it was like a, it was like a gummy piece of candy, and it was it was wrapped in a, like a clear wrapper and stuff. And um, when I ate it, it was so so good. I ate all of them, and then they had to go all the way back to America for it to get some more. <laughs> yeah, actually, one day um, on set for Percy Jackson's birthday, my mom oh yeah actually mm-hmm. made blue cupcakes for all of us. Uh, and she That's probably, awesome. Yeah, yeah, they were good. Mm-hmm, it was really cool. This isn't like my favorite snack. This is just something that I really want to put out there. Um, when we started filming, I once saw Walker down six Oreos in one go. Oh he God. asked Crafty for as many Oreos as they could give as they could give him, and they could only give him six, and he ate all of them like oh one God. after the other. It was the most impressive thing I think I've ever seen anybody do. That okay. is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Awesome. Well, thank you guys so much and congrats again on the show. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks.